gowns and the jewels and the food and the music. Thank you, Patrika. I'll take my father up a cup of tea. And ice sculpture. Who could imagine horse and carriage? I swan, eh, but horse, eh? Please, also coaster. Of course, it was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And, and gifts enough to fill the gymnasium. <sighs> More candlesticks from her uncle. Bijan. Breathing! Ari, come up here, come on! Name's Manoush Soleimani. Big cheese in the caviar racket. Soleimani, sounds Italian. Caviar is probably Iranian. Persian. No, whatever, he must have sold a lot of it. All those flowers, looks like somebody was expecting a funeral. They're from a wedding last night. We got a time of death. Guy was so fresh, I half expected him to get up and have breakfast. No rigor, body temp same as you and me. He's dead, tops an hour. There's no must in there. What makes you think it's not natural causes? Can't say. Started my exam. The lady of the house threw a fit, told me to stop. That's when I sent for you. She wants me to release the body to the funeral home. Is the DOA the father of the bride? The DOA was the groom. Young bride, old groom, wedding night. Maybe he died of a heart attack. Like my mother used to say, play with kids your own age. If the wife doesn't want us here, why are we here? The son does. He's sure there's been foul play. Wants an autopsy. I forbid it. Who are you to forbid? Who are you? To forbid. Family feud, my favorite. My husband was a private man in life. I will oh. not let you disrespect him in death. Disrespect? There will be no autopsy. For someone who parades around like a Paris Hilton? My father was a widower for many years with many companions. I was the one he chose to take to the altar. I made him happy. You exploited him. Ben and Yasmin, stop arguing. I do Please. not have to answer to you. You will have to answer about my father's death, not just to all me. All right, everybody calm down, all right? Look, we're going to need to talk to all of you. Yeah, in neutral corners. It wasn't a heart attack. My father just had a perfect checkup, pre-honeymoon. They were about to go on a Mediterranean cruise. Who called 911? I did. I took him a cup of tea. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't breathing. I called for help. Who else was in the house? Uh, Roya and Asher were in the dining room with Patrika. And Roya is? My sister, Asher, is her husband. My brother-in-law, Patrika, is the housekeeper. She'd been with us for ever. So? Where was his new wife? Not by his side. I went to look for her. She was nowhere in the house. The ambulance was here by the time she strolled in. You said that she'd have to answer for your father's death? Detective, she's 25. My father was 68. And a very, very wealthy man. Ben knows better. A traditional Jewish funeral has to take place within 24 hours. Mrs. Soleimani, don't you want to know what happened to your husband? I know what happened. He died peacefully in his sleep. No one killed him. We don't need an autopsy. We can ask the ME to rush his exam and try to make that 24-hour deadline. Manny was a religious man. Our traditions meant everything to him. He would not have wanted to be handled, touched by outsiders, secular people. You called for the ambulance. The EMS handled him. I did not call 911. I was not even here when they found him. Well, where were you? I went riding. What does it look like? A lot of women in this zip code run errands in those. I don't do errands. But you do go horseback riding the morning after you tie the knot. I did not know how much riding I would get to do on my honeymoon. What, you don't believe me? Mrs. Soleimani, your husband was found dead in his own bed the morning after he got married. To a much younger woman is what you're thinking. I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't. I can assure you he was quite alive before I left for the stables. The bride's a piece of work, cool as a cucumber. It was up to her she'd have him buried by sundown, bye-bye evidence. Meanwhile, we're stuck. We can't get a warrant until you say that the death was a homicide. Which I can't do with a wife saying no to an autopsy. But you are an M.E. You don't need a warrant to investigate. You can freeze the scene and have your forensics guys process whatever you find. Yeah, I could, but it's not really my job, and she's going to raise holy hell. Hey, believe me, we'd rather do it ourselves, but we're in a bind here. Can you help us out? What about the autopsy? Just sit on the body and make sure it doesn't go anywhere until the DAs have a chance to ruin some judge's lovely spring Sunday. 
Persian Jewish family, Your Honor. Yasmin Soleimani is asserting a religious objection to an autopsy. And the medical examiner has the right under the law to perform an autopsy over a religious objection if there's a threat to public health. Which I presume this is not. Or in the face of a homicide. In the face of an apparent homicide. There's no apparent homicide here. No signs whatsoever of foul play or violence. We can't know that until an autopsy is performed. Ben Soleimani doesn't think that his father died of natural causes. He wants a full investigation. The decision to perform an autopsy is Mrs. Soleimani's as next of kin. Miss Sutherland, unless you bring me some evidence, I'm unwilling to overrule Mrs. Soleimani's objection. Your Honor, how can I provide you with evidence of foul play without an autopsy? I'm sorry, Miss Sutherland. I can't accommodate you. What if Mrs. Soleimani is not the next of kin? Judge, there were more than 400 people at the wedding, all witnesses. The wedding took place last night, Saturday. After Sabbath, around 10. Manny Soleimani died this morning, Sunday. The county clerk's office doesn't open until tomorrow. They couldn't have possibly filed their marriage certificate yet. It's a hyper-technicality, Ms. Sutherland, but a legitimate one. It is enough to dismiss the autopsy objection. Don't know if the marriage was a marriage, but his death was definitely a homicide. He was smothered. Is a butterfly going to jump out at us? No, but there is lamb involved. First, look at the section of gum. The frenulum was ripped. When you're smothered, the reflex is to move your head from side to side like this. But what? The killer was too strong for him. Not necessarily. His last meal was lamb and lentils. Tox screen was positive for a benzodiazepine, Xanax. So what's up with the lamb? When you eat a fatty meat like lamb, the triglycerides potentiate the effects of the tranquilizer, make it much stronger. <laughs> so in English, he was weak as a kitten? Throw in a lot of alcohol at the wedding. Would have been child's play to smother him. We also found a hair on his torso. Oh, you saved the best for last? I don't want to get your hopes up. Until it's analyzed, all we know for sure is that it wasn't his.